What's going on? What's going on? This is Steve, the kidney nurse. Thank you for joining me. Look, <clears throat> I'm only going to be here, be on here by the minute, but I wanted to talk about the importance of good blood flow rate. And uh, I think that's very important because a lot of warriors, let me tell you something, okay? A lot of warriors go to dialysis and they're sleeping, watching TV, doing crossword puzzles, working on their computer, whatever they're doing during the three hours, three and a half, four hours. Now, have you ever heard your machine alarm and it kept alarming for several minutes and you're looking around and no one came to set that alarm? It took a while. Well, do you know while that machine is alarming, your blood is just sitting there because of the blood pump. And this is what we're going to talk about. The blood pump has stopped. This device right here has stopped running. Now, let me go into the theory. Healthy kidneys clean blood 24-7, all right, during each minute of every day, around one quart, which is about a thousand milliliters of blood passes through the kidney. Considering its small size, this is a huge amount of blood, much more than is received by any other organ in the body. The total blood volume of an adult is around five to seven quarts. So it takes only minutes for one entire blood supply to pass through the kidneys. What's the rush, you may ask? Why this large volume? Well, each time blood passes through the kidney, more and more of the body's waste, again, more and more of the body's waste, are cleared from the blood. And we had a show on uh, World Kidney News International about Rena Deal. Now, let's talk about this right quick because this is part of the discussion. Um, the dialyzer, right? The dialyzers are similar to the kidney in your body. All right? Again, as more blood passes through this dialyzer, right, cleaning increases. So I'm saying the more blood, you got to get blood in there. The more blood that goes in, right, because this is acting like the real kidney now, all right, cleaning increases and more waste is removed, okay? However, the key to the success of both the kidney and the dialyzer is receiving a good blood flow. You got to get that good blood flow. Now, here we go. How good is the blood flow to your dialyzer if you're watching, if you go to dialysis? Do you know how much blood passes through your dialyzer in one treatment? If you are not sure, ask your dialysis team. This number is usually given on the dialysis machine and is dependent on two factors. Number one, the blood flow rate, your pump speed. And if you look on here, 450 is the pump speed of this person's uh, uh, blood flow rate. Okay, so it, it depends on two factors, the blood flow rate, your pump speed, and two, the length of your treatment. For example, your blood pump speed is 400 milliliters per minute, okay? And you dialyze for four hours about 96,000 milliliters 
which is about 24 gallons of blood will pass through the dialyzer each treatment. Or if you dialyze for four hours, but the flow from your access is only 300 milliliters per minute, as in more common with catheters, then about 72,000 milliliters, which is 18 gallons. So you see as the blood flow rate is reduced, less blood is being processed through, which is not clearing many toxins. So that's why it's important when we say, be mindful of your treatment, know what blood flow rate you're on. Know when your machine goes off, the blood pump stops, and somebody needs to get to that machine and reset it. Okay, so again, so about 72,000 milliliters, 18 gallons of blood would be cleaned during a treatment or one third less than in the first example. All right. An increase in waste or urea or toxins lead to a lack of energy, poor appetite, itching, and hospitalizations, while a decrease in waste promotes health and wellness. Now, what does that mean? What that means is if the blood pump has stopped for a prolonged period of time um, or they reduce the speed because your access is not working correctly or properly, you're not, the going, you're not going to get a, a good dialysis and that toxins are going to build up over time, which can put you at risk for lack of energy, poor appetite, itching, and hospitalizations, while a decrease, all right, a decrease in um, waste, you're pulling more off, a decrease in waste promotes health and wellness. That's why when people go to dialysis and they stay their whole treatment and they watch what they eat and uh, they watch their fluid intake, they have less problems. The more blood is cleaned by the dialyzer, the more removal of waste will occur and the better the KT over V reading will be. Let me repeat that. The more blood that is cleaned by the dialyzer, the more removal of waste will occur and the better the KT over V reading will be. So factors that lower the KT over V. And we had a show on that. I did a show on that uh, uh, probably last week. Go to Steve the Kidney Nurse on YouTube and pull it up. But the factors that lower the KT over V, which uh, are numbers that determine how well you're getting dialysis, poor blood flow from the access, IG from an undeveloped access, from a catheter, or from a small gauge needle. Shorten treatment time. So if you go to dialysis and you cut your treatment, or you uh, come there and you get off early or you don't come at all, clots in the dialyzer, and clots can get in the dialyzer, and access recirculation due to a stenosis or stricture in your access. The key point, let me bring this off. So this was the dialyzer I was talking about. It could be clots in here, right? I, you've seen the, um, uh, the picture on my page with the machine after dialysis and the bloodlines on the machine, and you saw the two thrombies or the clots that were in both venous and arterial chamber. Well, clots could get into here, right? Look at that filter. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a better look. Look inside there. Now, can you imagine your blood going through there? So you got to get an anticoagulant or heparin 
which is a blood thinner. And can you imagine if your blood is running through here uh, three to four hours, that it is going to be some blood that is going to stick to that because we are no blood clots to uh, non-aminated objects. So when you bleed, right, and your blood comes out of your body and it falls, or you see patients that bleed um, after dialysis and it spills on the floor, a lot of it, and then next thing you know, you look down and the blood is dark and it jellies up. Uh, like a, a gelatin, that's a coagulant, right? And that can happen inside here as well. So here, here you go. That's the uh, filters inside a hemodialyzer. A lot of patients don't get to see that, right? I, I, I'm telling you. And we talked. About, I talked about this the other day. I talked about the machine. I talked about uh, the, the, the panel. I talked about that. So if you didn't get a chance to see it, uh, go back to yesterday on YouTube on the hemodialysis machine. So let me just check out my two comments. Hey, Candy, thank you for staying up, sweetie. Love you. Thank you so much. And my man with the master plan, Jared Brown who keeps it real and holds down the graphics. Thank you, brother. Guys, you know, man, if I was on dialysis and if, and if I was new and didn't know uh, anything, I definitely would be tuning into this uh, channel, Steve the Kidney Nurse, because I wouldn't know anything about the blood flow rate uh, if the machine stops, uh, that my blood stops and it's not moving, I wouldn't know anything about it. I'd just be sitting there watching TV, Price is Right, uh, Wheel of Fortune is some mess, uh, not even paying attention if the machine goes off and that blood pump stops, that my blood could be subjected to clotting. No, man, you got to know this. So I want to thank you guys for watching, Candy, Jared, uh, we got to, we're going to get more people and it's going to be a time. And I hate to say this right now it's free, but I'm sure it's going to be a time where it may be a paid subscription or on demand uh, for some of these education shows. And these are education that you're not going to get in the dialysis unit because they don't got time to talk about uh, the importance of blood flow. See, there go my information right there. So this is sound information. It's needed in the community. I'm going to deliver it. I guess people are going to have to get it on the other side after the show is over. So with that being said, God bless you guys. Stay blessed and encouraged. Uh, share this video. And uh, let's get it cracking with some new viewers. Some new warriors who uh, just got started and they need to get the information. Peace and blessings, guys. Thanks. Uh-huh.